study tips for anatomy and physiology? Yes, I can help with that. It's definitely the most important prerequisite for nursing school. And so my number one piece of advice is to treat it that way. I still feel like I studied harder for anatomy and physiology than I did for any class I ever took because there's so much memorization. And I think that's my second tip is to recognize that there's a lot of memorization in anatomy and physiology and there's just no getting around that. I do have some memorization tips for A&P. Um, I know I recorded another TikTok video so you can check my TikTok page, like give me a follow. I got a point, follow. Um, and I also wrote a blog post recently and talked on the podcast about it. Um, although I'm not sure if that's been published yet, but it's definitely been scheduled. So check my podcast, Navigating Nursing School with Your Nursing Tutor. Check my blog at yournursingtutor.com to see if those that information with like my specific anatomy and physiology tips have gone out yet. But if your instructor gives you a list of root words, like memorize those, like you're, they're your primary language. Root words are going to help you so much, not only in anatomy and physiology, but later on in nursing school. Because you can like interpret things. Like in nursing school, they threw so many different and new words at you. But if you know the root words, you can often figure out what those words mean, even if you've never memorized the definitions. I still remember in my fundamentals class, we got a question about like urine output and the answers, you know, or is this called polyuria, oliguria, or anuria? And I had no idea what those words meant yet, <laughs> but I did know that urea had to do with urine and I knew what all of those root words were. And since it was a very, very tiny amount of urine in the question, I knew that anuria, that the A and AN root word means practically nothing. It means like zero. So it was like zero urine. And I got that question correct. A lot of my classmates got it wrong because they didn't know the vocabulary word and they didn't have the same knowledge of root words that I had. Other than that, there's just a lot of time, repetition, doing active learning strategies while you're doing the memorization to make sure it stays clearly embedded in there. Doing small study sessions frequently, so like review it over time, not just all in one cram session. Um, and that tells your brain that this is important. It makes it easier to retain for the long term. So like I said, check my website, check my blog and my uh, podcast for more detailed tips, but those are kind of some general ones. And I hope you give me a follow so I can continue helping you through nursing school.